Hey everyone, and welcome to the DeckWizard channel. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you step by step how to install themes and plugins on your Steam Deck as easy as possible. By the end of this video, you will have the ability within SteamOS Gaming Mode to customize the layout of your home screen, menu toggles, have different fonts, change the on screen keyboard to have an RGB effect and increase colour vibrancy across all your menus and games. To begin, in gaming mode, we want to press the Steam button. Select Settings, System, and Enable Developer Mode. What this has done is create an extra selection at the very bottom of Settings called Developer. Scroll down to Developer and turn on CEF Remote Debugging. Next, we want to restart our Steam Deck. Once the Steam Deck has restarted, we want to go into our desktop mode. If you haven't already, set a password for your user account. Something like PassW, which is easy to remember, as we will need this in order to download and install Decky in the next step. Once you have your password set, open a console by the start button, Utilities, and choose Console to open. Here, we need to enter the following line specifically into the console. You can enter this manually if you wish, or you can copy and paste from the description of this video by opening a web browser separately, and right click and paste, or Control C and Control Shift and V. Either way, once the line is in console, press enter and you will be prompted for your password you set earlier. Enter this and sit back and wait for Decky to be downloaded and installed. Once the console has finished performing the task, return to gaming mode once and restart the Steam Deck again. Upon the Steam Deck restarting, press the Quick Access Menu button and you will notice a new icon has appeared. This is the plugins icon, also known as Decky. With Decky, we are going to select the marketplace in the top right corner of the panel, simply finding and installing CSS Loader. After a brief moment, CSS Loader will be installed. You can access this by pressing the Quick Access Menu button choosing the plugin icon and entering CSS Loader. In here, you will be able to select and choose Manage Themes. There will be a pool of different theme mods for you to download and apply. I'm going to install Centered Home, Obsidian, Phantom, Fonts, Switch Like Home and RGB Keyboard which will allow us to customize the original stock SteamOS keyboard. Within the quick access menu, press Reload Themes for all of the installations to appear. We can simply toggle on or off each of our plugins for an instant effect. Have a play around with the toggles to see what you can come up with.
After a few weeks, this is how my Steam Deck currently looks after getting used to Decky and the different plugins available. You might be wondering why the screen is looking so much more vibrant than previously. This is all down to a plugin on the marketplace called Vibrant Deck, which allows colours to have additional saturation more akin to that of the Switch OLED screen. If you like the look of Vibrant Deck, then simply go to the marketplace from the quick access menu and install Vibrant Deck from the list. Coming back to Decky's home screen again and moving your saturation to around 200. Some may say this is too high or too low a number, but it is down to your personal preference and what works best for your experience on the Steam Deck. If there is ever a plugin you have installed and don't quite like, within Manage Themes, you have the option to uninstall any you have applied from there. As always, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for anyone wanting their Steam Deck to feel that much more personal. Please check out the rest of my channel where new videos and tutorials are uploaded for SteamOS gameplay, emulation across many platforms, including Xbox 360, PS3 and PS2. If you have any comments, queries or requests, please post down below and I will try my best to get back to you. You can help support my work by subscribing to the channel and liking this video alongside reading the description of my videos where I have Discord, Twitter, Ko-Fi and Patreon. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.